With Plasmic, you can build dynamic pages to improve the experiences of your users as they navigate through your site. Consider a product listing page like this one with dynamic content coming from your favorite CMS or from a REST endpoint. The ideal experience is to open each product in a product details page with more information about that product. Let me show you how to accomplish this in Plasmic. First, let's uh, head over to this new project that we've created in Plasmic and delete uh, this text box. The first thing we want to do is create a product listing page right here. And we can do that using the Plasmic built-in Shopify component package to display a list of products from our Shopify store. So let's add that component from the component packages, type Shopify. Select that. And we have uh, the Shopify component displaying all the products we have in our Shopify store. If you want to change this out and use your own products from your own uh, Shopify store, you can go to the project settings and click on the provider to provide your own credentials right here. But I'll stick with uh, Plasmix uh, products for now. And just to make this look a little bit better, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and resize the product images. And then I want to bring the title of the product uh, below. Now that we have the products listed, we can start thinking about what happens when a user clicks on any of the products that we have listed on the listing page. Ideally, what we want to do is to take them to a product details page where they can see more information about that product and get access to other functionalities like, uh, like maybe add to cart or buy or checkout and all of that. So let's go ahead and create that page. So I'll come here, create a new page, and let's call this product page. We want to use this page for all our products, not just one. This means that we have to dynamically generate it with respect to the selected product. To do that, let's change the page parts to use the slog from the product data. So let's do that here. And immediately we get access to preview parameters that we will edit later. In the meantime, let's add the product box components from Shopify to show a specific product on the page. So let's zoom in here. Product box. And if you zoom in a little bit, you see that it says uh, you must set the ID prop. At the moment, we don't see any product and that's because we haven't specified the ID of the product we want to display here. We can set the product ID to whatever the slog is from the URL by using dynamic values. And that means if we come to the ID here, we can set this using dynamic values and we can set it to be the slog that is coming from the URL. Right now, we don't see any products displayed and that's because we haven't specified what uh, product we want to show. So let's type in a product name directly here. Uh, we have sticker. And this will show us the sticker product. And that is all coming from the homepage, from the product listing page. Uh, let's try a different product. Let's try bomber jacket. Switch over to the product page. And here we can try bomber jacket. And we see bomber jacket uh, showing up exactly as expected. And this is really all it takes to create dynamic pages with Plasmic. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is make it so that when a user clicks on the product from the listing page, it brings them right here to the details page with the right products. And before I do that, let me resize this a little bit and just make it look a little bit better. Now that I have the product details page looking the way I want, I can go back to the home page and implement the functionality to make it so that whenever you click on any of these products, it should lead you to the product details page. And let's convert this vertical stack to a link and set the destination to be the dynamic page that we created before. Next, we'll use dynamic values to set the destination to be the slog of the current product current product and we set it to the slog and actually let's uh, switch to code and just add the product parts save that and if we preview this it should all work as expected so if I click on sticker for instance it takes me to the product details page with the sticker showing and uh, the product description uh, let's try a different product 
let's try the special edition t-shirt and we have that working exactly as expected okay the next thing i want to do is set the page title and any other seo metadata using the head component so let's go back to plasmic studio switch over to the product details page and here inside the product box i want to add the head component head at the moment it's outside of the product box so let me put that inside and now the head component should get access to the dynamic data from the product box so here under the head prop section we can set the title of this page dynamically to be the name of the product and we can set the description to also be the description of the product and this is mostly it uh, at the moment for creating dynamic pages on plasmic just so much to come for dynamic pages on plasmic but in the meantime let us know what you think about this thank you